without makeup, and I'm not a big makeup person, I own a ton of it, but I don't wear a ton of it, but without makeup, you really, I mean, you can't do it. You have to do it. You have to do it. And, uh, and it makes a huge difference, huge difference. Hey ladies, welcome back to Fierce Aging 2.0. So this is 2021 and I am kicking off my Fierce Aging with some beautiful women that are coming into the studio. So today I am featuring Holly. This is the perfect candidate. You've been asking for hooded eyes and now I am delivering with a beautiful makeup tutorial showing you how I lift her eyelids with the lids by design completely changes her eye. It is absolutely amazing. So I want you to really pay attention to what I'm doing and how I'm doing this because it is going to give you a completely different look. You're going to have better eyesight. You're going to be able to see your eyes. You're going to look awake, alive. You don't have to have surgery. Then I decided to show you just with a little bit of a wash of color, I did some eyeshadow for her also. So I've added it in, it's a little bit of a longer video, but I wanted you to really see the transformation from having hooded eyes to having eyes that are wide open and then taking them off and then just doing a little wash of color. And this is not your typical YouTube makeup. This is about natural, it's about celebrating your age, embracing your age and working with what you have. It's not about how much makeup can I pile on in my 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. It's about being bold, it's about being fierce, and it's about being unapologetic. So ladies, let's get this beauty started. We're gonna start off with giving Holly a really beautiful hydrated look to the skin first. So I'm gonna do a little quench from Ever. This is an advanced hydrating booster. I put everything on a little palette. It's easier for me to apply, but you would apply this with your fingers. And I'm using the Essential Makeup Brush Kit that has nine beautiful vegan brushes in it. Just taking the foundation brush and I'm going to just give her some nice moisture into the skin. Next, I'm gonna go in with IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Line Serum. This is a really nice serum to hydrate the eye area. I really want to make sure that I'm getting a lot of hydration right in here before I start applying makeup. That's really, really important that you have this area really nicely hydrated with something that's gonna actually sink into the skin, not sit on the skin and roll around and then you put on your concealer and then you see balls rolling because it's too heavy on the skin. You want it to go right nicely into the skin and hydrate this area. I'm gonna take the Contours RX. This is the B5 exfoliating pads. This is going to prep Holly's eyelid for the lids by design. I need all the oils off of her eye in order to have these lids really adhere and look beautiful and not move. So I'm gonna just take this, it's really nice. It's in a little square, lots of room to be able to exfoliate the eye and underneath the eye if you would like to. Now that we've exfoliated the eyes, we're gonna just let that dry. And how do you feel about your, your eyelids? Well, I think they make me look tired. They're very droopy. Um, it's hard to put eye makeup on them because when I open my lids, you can't see it. So it's just always been a challenge when I'm doing makeup. So what I thought was really great to show you, because I've showed you on myself, Britton, the owner of Lids by Design, has showed you what it looks like on her. Holly is going to be a really great candidate to pull back the extra skin. So we're gonna concentrate on making her eyes look open, refreshed, so she can really see some lid. Now after, we're going to do her foundation, blush, everything, and then we'll take off the lids and we'll do an eyeshadow so you can see what it would look like if you just happen to not wanna wear the pads. So she's gonna have two options, one with wearing the pads for a daytime look, this can be a nighttime look too, or maybe one day she's like, you know what, I really feel like seeing some color on my lids. I'm gonna just do my makeup with hooded eyes with eyeshadow, and I'm gonna show you some techniques for that. So first, I'm going to take the Lids by Design. This is the assortment packet. So you have four millimeter all the way up to seven millimeter. So now when you have extra skin, when you have a lot of skin that maybe one pad's 
kind of having the skin fold over it, you would wanna go up to an eight millimeter. My kit doesn't have that, so I'm gonna be just piggybacking two different lids by design for Holly. So that's what I'm gonna be doing, but you would, if you had the eight millimeter, which is what size she would be, you would just use one pad. I'm taking the needle nose tweezers. This is the easiest way to peel off the pad with the tweezers. So you're just kind of lifting it up a little bit and not disturbing the end. So it's going to go on really nicely. I'm going to take the pad. This is the six millimeter and I'm going to see where the eye creases. I'm gonna just lift the eye, close your eye. I'm just gonna see where her natural crease is. So it's right around here. She would actually have to lift this skin when she's applying it. So I'm going to see exactly where it creases and that's where I wanna put the pad. I don't wanna put it on folded skin. That's not going to work. It has to be a flat surface for this to work. So I'm going to see right where it's going to crease, right there. So I'm going to hold the skin nicely. Just let it adhere to the eyelid, press down, press down. This is going to nicely just go invisible. Okay, it's just going to go into the skin just like that. And then it's holding up the skin. This is wonderful for heavy eyelids like this. Maybe it's impairing your sight. This is really wonderful. So you can see now that she has an eyelid. A little bit more of that extra skin at the top is going to start because it's very slackening. It'll fall over the pad. So I'm gonna just hold that back with my four millimeter. Okay. That camera. Yep. How's it feel? It feels fine. I don't. I can't really feel it. Okay. Now that the lids by designer are on again, ladies, you would only use one pad when you find your size. That's what's so nice about having the assortment pack because you can maybe say, you know, my left eye needs a five millimeter, and my right eye maybe needs a four millimeter because we're asymmetrical. Maybe you have more skin on your right eye, and we talked about that. Holly said that she feels like she really does have a lot more skin on the right eye, so you can customize. That's what's really nice about having an assortment package, is that you can kind of just design the right eyelid that you want. So I'm thrilled with how it looks on her eyes. Now we're starting with eyes wide open. They look beautiful, and we're gonna concentrate on, I'm gonna put lashes on her, we're gonna do beautiful brows, cheeks, skin, so we're going to move on from here. We're going to go on to the brows now, and I'm gonna do an ombre brow for Holly. This is really great. So you can do a lighter brow color at the beginning, and then you're going to do a darker. So we're gonna give some depth and some variation to the brow. I think this is really nice to do to really kind of give you that structure. Beautiful golden blonde hair, and then we're gonna go over with a little cocoa, which is a brow fix. I see some gray hairs on the right brow that we all struggle with, and we're going to nicely coat those so we don't have to worry about spending extra money to tint the brows. We use the brow fix, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna take the skinny brow pencil, and I can see here that we have a little bit of space where it's just thinning. So I want to give a really natural look to the brow with the taupe brow pencil. So you can see, I'm just kind of giving these hair-like strokes filling in the brow. Natural, not heavy, really pretty. And if you feel like you have a little too much color, just go over with the spoolie on the other end. And you can really just disperse that color nicely. So I'm gonna just take the toe pencil just kind of like where I'm going to be arching. I want that to be the darker color. So I'm going to just make sure everything's filled in the way I want the medial part of the brow. And this lateral part, we're gonna take the medium brown. Actually, let me make sure we have the medium brown, yeah. And we're going to arch the brow and we're going to give a really nice ending to this brow here. So this is the darker color. So you're gonna have two different kind of tones in the brow. Lighter in the front, giving it that really pretty start. And then you're going to end with a darker. So it really looks like it's structured and it's really, really defining the face and framing the face. 
We're gonna go in with the brow fix and we have lots of different options for colors. Clear, we have cocoa, which is our new color. We have brunette, dark brunette and clear. I could go for clear on Holly's brows, but she has a little bit of those gray brows. So I really want to just coat them nicely, not make them super dark. I just want them to blend in. So I'm gonna definitely do it on this brow here. It'll nicely give her some structure, a little bit of gloss to her brow. These little gray guys, if you'll see, are just going to nicely be coated and disappear. We want to keep all of our gray brows, ladies. You don't wanna pluck them out. I know that it can be tempting to take out the grays, but you need that gray hair. You need the hair in there to keep that structure, to keep that definition. So you can see, nicely just coating them, and then they disappear. So now that we have the brows done, I'm going to just highlight the brow with the nude water light and brow pencil. So you can use this on the inner waterline if you want to really open up the eyes. But I really, since we didn't do any eyeshadow or anything, I'm gonna take this nude brow pencil. It's gonna highlight the brow area. So underneath here, I'm just going to give Holly a little bit more of this lightness to the brow. It's just gonna give a little bit more of that highlight underneath her brow, kind of defining the brow underneath. The concentration of this makeup application is really brows. We're gonna do lashes now, really get that skin really beautiful, beautiful cheeks. So it's not about putting eyeshadow on the eye at this point. It's really about getting that really fresh, beautiful look. So before I go into the skin, I'm going to do a little, this is a new product for us called Fiercely Smooth so appropriately named, right? We want to smooth out the skin, we want to blur the skin. You don't use this on the entire face, depending on. We have tinted and we actually have clear. The tinted is, is really pretty too. It's not a, gives you just a little bit of a glow. So I'm just using a little dab. This is going to really nicely smooth the skin first before I put on the concealer, the BB cream. We're gonna go in with my favorite lashes, which are the 420 from Ardell, and I'm gonna just use the Eye Duo Glue in the dark, which is really nice. It kinda of gives a little bit more of an eyeliner effect when I'm using the dark glue. These are gonna look really natural and really beautiful, and now that we have that lid, I want her to have a little bit of that extra special when it comes to lashes on her eyes. So this is what I'm doing, ladies, since I didn't show you before. I'm just taking the Nicole Beauty Little Scissors that we have and I'm just cutting a little bit of the corner of the lashes so they're going to lift up again they're not going to be too long for her eye and fall down so there's no, I don't want it to bring down the eye so this is a really great thing to remember that you can cut and customize anything from lashes to the lids depending on what works for you so these lashes look absolutely gorgeous on Holly's eyes. Now, if she didn't lift them with the lids by design, I could have never put the lashes on her. It would have made her eyes look heavier. This looks beautiful because we have a lid there. We pulled back all that skin and we put on these beautiful natural looking lashes that are very wispy, light. How do they feel? Do they feel heavy? No, no, they don't at all. No, oh, I can't wait to see them. <laughs> So this gives her just a touch of glamour, but also this is an everyday look. You can wear these. A lot of women are wearing lash extensions. They get them done. You can easily put these on at home and give yourself that beautiful fringe, that, that more of that lash darkness that you want if you don't have long lashes. We do have the Grande MD Lash Serum that I've been using for the last five years. It really help your lashes grow. So if you really want to see length and you want to see volume, this is great. It's a three month supply. It's really inexpensive. Comparatively, at $65, you have a three month supply, you use it every single night, and you really do see results from mm. your lashes growing, and then you'll have that beautiful look. Or you can switch over to a very easy lash with Ardell, the number 420. We're going to start concealing underneath the eye with a trio, which I love. So this is called Cool Buff. This is going to be three different colors that you can customize. You can use one, you can use two, or you can use all three. What's really nice is that I can go into a deeper color, I can go into a lighter, or I can go into a medium tone here for Holly's skin. So what I really wanna concentrate on here is that we see that we have a little bit more darkness in here, a little bit more of a puffiness. You'll see right here, it's a little bit of that purpley color in here, 
and a little bit of a puff. So we call this the hard edge. So if it's darker and it's receded, I want to make it lighter. So I want to pull that forward. I don't want it to be dark and receding. It's already, you know, a little bit different because of the having a little bit of puffiness above it. So I'm going to go into the lightest color here and I'm going to just give that area some lift. We have a little bit of redness here too, going all the way up into where we all have this darkness from the nose. You'll start seeing blues and grays. So I'm going to just lighten that right here for now. So I've lightened the area. Now I'm going to go and start concealing over. So I'm going to do a nice mixture of the darker color and the medium tone color. I'm going to take it right underneath the lash line. And this is why it's so important to have a hydrated eye area because you don't want this anything that you put on the skin if you have dry dehydrated eye area is going to show dry dehydrated eye area so you want to hydrate and you want to moisturize so when you do put on a concealer or you do put on your foundation it looks beautiful it nicely goes onto the skin again we use the bye bye eye so it's going to give it a little bit more of a blur and then we use the fiercely smooth to help with any texture and to really even up the tone of the skin so everything slides on beautifully and sets so I'm going to just take this from the inner corner of the eye. I'm going to come down and I'm going to go back into this little triangle because I do want this to be nice and light. Could I have gone into the warm front for Holly? Possibly, but I'm using the darker color. I don't want to really deepen her skin. I just want to really make it beautiful and lighten it a little bit. So that's why I chose to go and stay with the cool buff because once I really work this in, it's going to look absolutely flawless. You have to trust the process of when you're adding on concealers, brighteners, it might not look right when you put it on, oh my gosh, but once you start working with the product and you start layering, you're gonna see that it looks really, really beautiful. I'm gonna take our foundation buffing brush and I'm gonna just work this into the skin. I like using this brush because it really buffs into the skin. The skin and the concealer, the foundation become one. And the whole idea is not to cover up Holly's face and try to see how much product I can put on her skin. Because as an artist, I can put layers and layers and layers of product. I can keep going, I can mask the skin, I can make it very YouTube if you want to, but we are working with mature skin. We're working with defining our age, celebrating our age. We're not about covering it up. And that's what I want to just lighten this area I want her to feel that she is addressing some of the issues such as darkness or the redness, but it's not like it's so much that you feel like, I don't wanna do this in the morning. I want you to feel like, yes, you know what? I'm gonna put on a little concealer. I'm gonna work it into my skin and it's going to lighten my skin. It's going to make it really pretty. Now, let's talk about why I do the triangle, right? I do a triangle for a reason. So meaning when I put on the concealer coming from the inner, coming down and lightening this area, I don't want to just do concealer underneath the eye and address this area here. I want it to all go together. I don't want it to be like, okay, here's where I did the concealer and then here's where I did my foundation. So this is always going to be looking like almost like a raccoon, right? right? Yeah, where you want right. to kind of bring it down. We want to address this. You can add as much as you want to. This is just my application technique. I like to be more natural. I like to, I like to see the skin through. I don't want to cover it up so much that it just looks unnatural. I'm using our BB cream in the color light. This is going to be very hydrating to Holly's skin. This is going to be just really beautiful, evening out the tone. And you're going to see that the skin looks really beautiful, very nicely toned, evening out the tone. Yep, actually, we'll do that. just taking a little bit of this BB cream and I'm just working it into the skin down on the jawline on the neck so it really nicely blends but this is really 
a fabulous way to apply the BB cream because it's hydrating, it's moisturizing, it's gonna give you an illuminating look, not a glowy, greasy, shiny look. And that's why I like using the buffing brush. It really buffs it into the skin, feels really good, very natural. And we're gonna move on to the cheeks and the lips now. I'm gonna go in with a little translucent powder just to set underneath the eyes before my favorite cheeks and my lips. Look up. We are going to take our favorite cream blush in Palm Beach and we're going to just give Holly a really pretty smile. Just really natural look to her face. We want to kind of give a little bit of color. So I'm going to again, work my way up. I'm going to do it on the cheeks working it up you can see the beautiful color that it gives her face very natural it's like a very nudie apricot and then smile it just really nicely goes into the bb cream into the skin looking healthy looking fresh i'm going to take the poppy coal lip pencil i'm really going to just do a very nice lip liner nothing too much i just want to outline her lips a little bit I'm gonna go in with a nice combo. This is Beach House, it's a high gloss lipstick. And I'm gonna take Defiance, which is gonna be my lip gloss. So you know I love giving a little bit extra to the lips with the gloss, it's fresh, it's really beautiful. And do you, so does Defiance kind of go in with your whole personality? <laughs> right. <laughs> yes, I think my husband would say that, yes. <laughs> kind of use the Beach House as my base and then I use the lip gloss to kind of just give me that really beautiful pop you can see it adds same color family adds close your mouth adds that extra depth to the lip really pretty this is a little bit more of a long lasting lip gloss infused with vitamin e it has a little natural vanilla in it it's really pretty and it's going to just give you that extra to the lips so pretty i love this coral color with Holly's hair and her skin tone. She just looks so beautiful and just really, a, just fresh and alive. So I'm going to, before we do anything else, I'm gonna okay. show you what you look like with the lids and the lashes since you haven't ever had those on before. I haven't. Oh, wow. Wow. Man, my eyes are so bright. Yeah, I like that. Oh, I like the lip color too. Yeah. And now you don't wear a lot of makeup. So no. does so how do you feel with seeing the eyes, which is really your main point? Right. No, I think it looks it looks to me it looks natural too, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I mean I don't see the I don't really see the makeup. Right. Yeah. No. Because we concentrated on getting your, your lids back so that wasn't the focal point. Right. 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 Really then bumping up the lashes. So that's right. really what you look at. Right. And you don't see anything really behind it. You can't see the pads. Right, it gives no. your it gives your actual lid that smoothness. Right. So exactly. it gives you this really beautiful smooth lid, and that's why I really like doing this look because it's almost like you put like a nude, a very very light nude kind of concealer or eye primer on the lid already because her eyelids were red before or had the skin tone, right. Right. and now it's almost like they have this beautiful seamless. Kind of like very natural skin tone on right. them exactly it looks natural it does it looks very natural i love it it feels like i it's brightened up my face and it feels like it reflects who i am which is you know i have a youthful spirit and i think it reflects my youthful spirit i like it i think it looks beautiful now the big big tip here ladies is to when you see when you have the hooded eyes and i think this is what a lot of us don't like is that the eyelid comes down on the end so you have this like extra fold on the side when you put the lids by design on you're actually lifting do you see that we're lifting this eye the the lid that usually comes down over at the end we're lifting that which is wonderful you can see it on this side too now her lid just comes straight out if you look straight Turn to the side a little bit more. See how this doesn't fold down over the corner of the eye there? That is something else that really nicely brings up the eye. So I really, I truly believe in the lids by design. Um, this is something that I've known about for so long. Realize that my ladies and my audience would really, really kind of just have a new life and not have to have surgery. And that's why I brought them in because I knew it was such a tool. 
and I'm so thrilled. So are you ready to take them off and maybe do a little eyeshadow? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to keep the lashes on her eyes and I'm going to go in with our eye and lip primer just to smooth out the eye, take out any redness, darkness. This is going to be really nice because it's going to just prime the eye and have your eyeshadow last all day, look true, so it's not mixing in with any redness or browns or darkness. I'm going to just take the middle color here, beautiful deep green with my eyeshadow, uh, eyeshadow brush. And this is going to, what I want to do is I want to concentrate on the middle of the eye, not the eyelid coming down, right? I wanna keep everything very short and concise because you can see you don't want it to either line the eye and follow the line or you don't wanna put the eyeshadow on following the eye there. So what I wanna do is I wanna keep it from right about here, middle, and just, that would be my end piece because then I'm gonna show you with the darkness how it recedes and lifts the eye. So you can see I have blended it in. Again, a nice wash of color. I'm not gonna go over the top. I don't wanna heavy the eye. I do wanna get some nice, beautiful color though. So that's why I chose this beautiful, nice sheen, this green, very like a forest green. And then I'm going to take my little contour brush here. This is a tapered blending brush, almost like a little pencil. I'm gonna go right into the nice deep brown. And I'm gonna be very, very precise with this also. So I want this to lift the eye. Again, color theory, ladies, it's going to be about receding, right? So we want to take the, we want this to go back a little bit. So basically we're gonna take the dark color, we're gonna place it, don't worry about it looking like it's skipping or it's all over the place, it's not a problem. Again, this is natural. We're doing something that's going to look pretty, look effortless, this is not going to be about how much darkness and how much makeup we can put on the eye. I just want to blend it nicely again with my eyeshadow brush. I want this all to come nice together. Again, we do have the BB cream on because we are doing something a little bit different because we did the lids, but I can also still just clean up with my Almay pad on the end there and get that to be nice and crisp. So don't worry if there's any kind of fallout also. You're going to blend and bring it up on this brow bone because the skin's coming down. We want to make it look like it's going back. So this is going to be up here. Just drag the color up. You don't want a lot of darkness as in heaviness. You just want to give that shadow and definition up on this brow bone here. So again, this is a very wash of color. I'm not trying to make it dark and go too much for her but I want her to have a little bit maybe of a evening look. Maybe she doesn't want to wear the lids by design. She doesn't want an overly open, open eye. She wants a little bit more of her natural eye showing. So we're gonna do it just like this. I'm gonna just take the lightest color here and I'm gonna go into this corner and just lighten this up. I want this to be nice and light. I want her to have that brightness up on the brow bone also, just lifting up, giving it a nice sheen. Again, I have the darker color and then the contour color on the eye, lifting it up with the lighter color. So it's going to be very pretty, it's gonna be very soft, but I'm not doing your typical with hooded eyes pile up all the darkness so you have a lot of heaviness. I just wanna have a little bit of that dimension for the hooding, which is right here. I'm keeping it up, I'm not going and dragging it down here. I'm just gonna take a little Almay pad and I'm going to just crisp up this end here. So anything that I feel like fell a little bit lower. Usually, I don't have any foundation or concealer on, well, since we did it differently, you can just go back. But I'm lifting 
up the sides. As you can see, I'm lifting up that eyeshadow. This is my technique. This is how I like to do uh, a natural, pretty, a little bit darker eyeshadow for hooded eyes. I don't wanna see a lot of eyeshadow where I'm trying to like cover up and kind of make the eye like do something that it's not really naturally supposed to be doing. I want it to look just really fresh, still a little bit of color, but not overpowering the eye. That's a very, very, I see less is more for me and my style. So I'm gonna just take a little bit of concealer and I'm just gonna go back over where I took a little bit of that shadow that came down off. But again, when you're someone like Holly that doesn't wear a lot of makeup, it doesn't make sense to pile on eyeshadow thinking, oh, I'm gonna get rid of the hood if I put more darkness on. It's just gonna look darker and it's gonna look heavier. So I wanted to give her a beautiful wash. I like the greens with the corals and everything. I thought it'd be really beautiful and relentless. Now, we asked if you were defiant <laughs> with your lip gloss. Do you feel like you're relentless with your beauty, with your, just how you're aging? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I take it seriously and like working out, I try to take care of my skin. I, I, you know, I take it very seriously. Um, trying to buy makeup, trying to buy skincare. Mm -hmm. Take it very seriously. So the, the last thing I would do is I would just take a little bit of my waterproof dark chocolate just to give her a little bit. Since we have those lashes on still, look up. I'm just gonna give her just a tiny bit of definition underneath the eye this is just just i'm almost kind of like doing a little bit of dots to give her some definition and then i will smooth it out with my favorite little see see how i don't have it's not perfect i'm not making perfect little dots easy ladies just take your dense brush whatever that might be for me it's a short smudge brush i'm going to just drag it underneath and it's going to nicely just smooth out so if you have those shaky hands if you have not a really good eyesight this is going to be your lifesaver it's just going to nicely just smooth out the line and you are going to be thrilled that it looks so good with little effort so i'm going to show you what you look like with a little bit of shadow oh yeah wow wow that's pretty that's really pretty it's natural looking yeah, I like just a hint of too. color right because we're not like trying it. to like we with the lids we changed the eyelid we pulled right. the eyelid back with this we're just trying to work with what you have make it look pretty make it not it's not glittery it's not sparkly it's nothing it's just a little bit of sheen for you even though you have more a uh, lid more you know crepiness or whatever we don't want to mat it out and make it look like right you know like not alive right exactly so it's just a little bit of sheen yeah no that's really pretty that's really pretty it's very natural looking and that's important to me so it's yeah it's beautiful well i'm so happy you came on the channel today oh, shared your beauty with the ladies well thank you very much this has been amazing i'm so happy that i was able to show you a woman with hooded eyes that can dramatically change her look with a matter of one little tool Ladies, there's so many things out there for you to feel confident, to feel beautiful. We have just demonstrated that. It changes your attitude, changes everything about your day. So until my next video, I'll see you later.